Welcome back everyone. Today I'm at the, uh, the front of our property and this area that I just got done mowing, believe it or not, this was where our garden was a couple years ago. So when we first bought this property, we established a 50 by 90 foot garden um, up here. And we, uh, we also lived in our camper for a year while we built our house back there. So this was served as a garden area for a couple of years. We just built a new garden over next to the house. So this area has now been overgrown and it's taken over by grass and weeds but uh, I don't want you know I don't want this to be a garden area anymore I want this to be a pasture area so my idea is all along this driveway here I'm gonna fence in around that driveway back over by the barn then come over down this fence line basically here all the way back to that white barn right there and um, so I just want to make this a nice pasture area for livestock in the future and a nice big area that I won't hopefully have to mow as well. But uh, before I, you know, fence that in, this garden area, it was in, this is clay soil. And our first year as a garden, our plants just sat here in water. It was a very wet year, and it just seemed like they were sitting in puddles most of the year. So the next year after that, we ended up hilling our rows. So we have hilled rows here, and uh, there's four, there's four hilled rows. I believe in this garden so that means there's about four or five ditches in here as well that like to hold water and I want to get this all leveled out before I'm it turn it into a pasture so I'm gonna take the disc today I'm gonna to go over this and I'm gonna to try to get this all worked up and back level again try to get rid of all those little hills so that may take that may take quite a few passes we've got all this sod and grass that we'll have to kind of break up so that we can uh, you know get this all level once again and then once we're done with that we're going to go ahead we're going to reseed this with some pasture seed we've got some fescue we've got some orchard grass we've got some white and some red clover that we're going to seed in here and hopefully that'll all come up uh good and we'll have at least a nice new patch of of pasture grass out here in this section uh for the livestock to have so i'm not going to go take the time and just disc this entire thing up just just the area where the garden is where it's all uneven we'll get this disc up and replant it Well, I ended up disking this old garden area at least six times. So it only actually took about four times to be able to get rid of those hilled rows and make it kind of nice and, and uh, level again. But um, there was just so much grass that was on the ground. So when I cut this like a week ago, the grass was at least two feet tall. So there was some really long grass clippings laying down on top of this. And I... I um, I mowed that again today kind of hoping to knock everything back down and maybe chop up those grass clippings But once I got to disc in it, um, it was, You quickly realized that that grass 
wasn't going to mix in. So I kept going over it just to try to cut that grass up and try to get it to till into the soil. And there's just so much of it, I didn't want anything to do with it, really. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let this sit and rest a little bit. I'm going to let this kind of, the soil will kind of dry out a little bit. A lot of these weeds and the roots of the weeds and everything will hopefully they'll dry out and die off and then that old grass clippings they'll dry a little bit longer as well um and we'll wait uh we'll wait a week or so and then we'll come back we'll disc this again so we'll be back in a few days we're going to disc this up again hopefully it'll it'll even be nicer and smoother after the next time and then we should be ready to plant our pasture seed in this area Well, it is now, it's now four days later, and there is a chance of rain tomorrow night. So I just got off work, and I want to try to plant this field tonight so that it, if it does rain tomorrow, um, maybe we can get some grass to grow out here. So I've already went over this field two times with the disc. And you can see this entire field, all the grass that was in it, it's all turned brown now, it's all dyed. Um, if you do see some chunks of green grass in here, uh, a lot of that's just being pulled up from the edge as I was disking along. So you might see some chunks from the edge that got pulled out there. But all that area that we disked the other day was completely dead. All the grass had died. And that's from disking it. It was tilling up those roots. It was cutting those plants up. And, uh, you know, it was just uh, it was enough damage to be able to kill all that, all that grass. Um, there was no chemicals or anything sprayed on here. That's just being able to disk it several times. And that's enough to kill the grass. So now I'm ready to go ahead and start planting our seed. Um, but before I plant it, I've got um, I got a new implement, a new implement to me, I guess. This is an old cultipacker, and uh, it's a 10 foot wide cultipacker. So it's got these metal discs, metal rollers, and it's basically like a big yard roller. And it's going to roll over the ground. It's going to pack the dirt back down. So we're going to take that cultipacker we're going to go over this this area that we got dissed up we're going to pack the dirt back down and make it all nice and flat and kind of pack down then we're going to plant our seed on top of it so i'll spread out i'll spread out our fescue grass i'll spread out some orchard grass then i'll spread out a little bit of clover mixture on here and then after i've got all my seed on there i'll go ahead we'll take the cultipacker we're going to go back over it again we're going to try to pack you know press the seed down in the soil so that we have good seed to soil contact and uh, hopefully you know with good seed to soil contact and if it gets rained on tomorrow hopefully this will all turn green in a, in a couple weeks and we'll have nice pasture grass out here growing so i'm gonna go ahead we'll get this tractor started up i don't have much time tonight and let's get packing the soil back down Well, I definitely ran out of sunlight last night. It got dark on me. So I ended up running the cultipacker over this field. I ran that over it twice, pretty much in the dark last night. I rolled it twice in the dark, 
And that was the first time I'd used that case tractor in the dark. And it turns out that the headlights don't work. So I didn't know that the headlights didn't work. So one more thing to add to the list of broken things around here that need fixed. That list just keeps getting longer. But uh, so we planted this last night thinking that it was going to rain today. We had like a 50% chance of rain today. And now if you look to the west where our weather should be coming in, it's a nice, nice blue sky over there. So that chance of rain that we had last night pretty much went from 50% went to zero zip. So the chance of rain today is about nothing now. So that has happened to me twice now. So when we ended up planting the hay field in the, the back corner of our property, when we planted it, we were trying to beat the rain as well. And uh, we got it planted, thought it was gonna rain that night. Well, whatever happened, it kind of went around us. We didn't really get any rain. About three or four days later, we were going to get rain again, so we ended up, that storm system went right to the north of us. I mean, it was like right over here. You could see the clouds, you could hear the thunder, and it pretty much missed us. We got a very little bit of rain, uh, about a tenth of an inch of rain. So in the last, like, three weeks, we've pretty much only got about a tenth of an inch of rain in the last three weeks. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully we'll get some rain. And this little area that we just replanted uh, will turn into a, a nice uh, pasture mix. And um, we were able to do this without pretty much much input whatsoever. So this is kind of uh, the soil in here. I was pretty comfortable with the soil in here being fairly fertile since we had used it as a garden area before. So we didn't add anything to this. No fertilizer, no lime, nothing. We just dissed it up, leveled it out, didn't use any herbicides to kill the grass or nothing we just used the disc to be able to kill the grass and uh, now we've got it replanted so um, I think a uh, nice little experiment we'll see how well this does I think this will come up nice and thick and we'll have a nice little uh, pasture area right here when we're done so so the plan is like I said earlier the plan is we're going to try to fence in this area so if we fence this in I'll probably take it back kind of behind that barn and up maybe toward the front of the property back around those pine trees this will end up being about an acre and a half uh, field and uh, if we and this will be the second area we fence in the main area we want to fence in is behind our livestock barn we get that all uh, fenced in we'll have about an acre and a half behind the livestock barn as well so we'll end up with about three acres of pasture fenced in uh, when once we get this all done and we'll have a three acre hay field in the back. Now we do have room for expansion. We have room to grow this operation and make it bigger if we really wanna get into growing livestock. But our main goal right now, number one goal, I mean, I got dreams and aspirations of what I'd like to turn this into, but our number one goal is to raise our own food. So we're raising a couple pigs right now. Hopefully we'll end up raising a couple uh, cows, some feeder calves, raise our own beef. We'll probably do some meat chickens, see if we can raise our own food here in these pastures but when we get to the point if we want to raise livestock and sell livestock we got room for expansion because behind me in this fence line here is a 12 acre field a 12 acre field that we own and rent and we can turn that into pasture so we can gain another 12 acres of pasture really well really easily if we want to expand this and then in the back we planted a three acre hay field in the back but uh Kind of over in this direction, we have another three acre field that's still in rent. So we can add another three acres of hay field also. So, so right now, um, you know, right now we're, we're going to have about three acres of pasture, three acres of, of hay field, but we can easily have another 15 acres that we can uh, turn into hay and pasture if we want to. But uh, I feel like that's going to be a little ways down the road. First thing to do is get this all established and see what works for us before we dive in deep into it. So, anyway, that's it, guys. Um, just showing you getting this area kind of all leveled back out and getting it repurposed for livestock. And uh, goodbye to the garden. Hello, pasture. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.